Hi, my name is Brandon Tai. I am a biomechanical research and design engineer. Uh, I put together this presentation to kind of highlight some of the things I had been working on recently. There's some pretty neat stuff in here, but uh, specifically the reason I brought you here was to talk about this machine. This is an automated TCA manufacturing machine, and a TCA is a twisted and coiled actuator which is an artificial muscle made from conductive nylon thread. You can see a picture of one in the bottom left here, and they're used for uh, soft robotic apparatus like this quadrupedal shape morphine robot that I designed. Now back to the machine. Um, the very first step of the design process was to define some design criteria. We wanted to be able to make one meter long TCAs with minimal errors, and we, did, we removed the error by removing the human element, in other words, automating it. So, as I mentioned in the cover letter, uh, after ideation, the first step I, d I came across was to put together a bomb, a list of all the components I needed to purchase, such as the mechatronic components like the motors, controller, buttons and switches, and the linear motion components as you see here. I also did the electric design of the system, which uh, allows the controller to communicate to the motors and then also power distribution. Uh, I designed a controller here that was used with the human. It was designed with a human experience in mind, so that it would be simple and intuitive to use. Uh, here's a, a model of it without any of the buttons or fans. Um, some of the 3D uh, modeled parts were pretty complex. You can see this one has very specific orientations and locations of features. But further, it was designed with the mode of manufacturing in mind. This was made using FDM printing or filament printing and uh, PLA material. Now, this material is famous for failing in between layers. So you'll notice that none of the vertical features are loaded under shear or bending. They are all loaded axially under compression. Uh, after testing and validation, the machine ended up working great. Uh, if you have any more questions about it, please feel free to reach out, and I'd love to talk about it.